Welcome back to Darkwood. We're here at the beginning of, I think, day 16? I keep forgetting, losing track of the days. Anyway, I've done my morning chores, filled up the generator a bit, turned it off, and collected the bear trap, and sold some junk. Today is going to be a pretty exciting day. Not only are we going to go down to the farmer in the southwest, and then probably to the pig shed after that, which I'm thinking is going to be pretty disturbing, given how huge the place is and what we saw there last time we poked around a little bit. But, I'm also going to make my first gun. Oh, and also I bought some rope from the trader, so I'm going to use that to upgrade my inventory in a second, since we got some fine fabric yesterday. Right, so I've got two weapon parts. So I'm presented with the option of, do I want to build a handgun by buying a handgun frame? Or do I want to build a single shot shotgun? Over here. Yeah, the single shot shotgun or the pistol. In both cases, I either need the long barrel or the handgun frame. Both cost exactly the same, 450. They're identical otherwise. It's a really hard decision to make. I mean, I, want, I do thankfully have two weapon parts. Which I don't even know how I got the other one. I know I got one from Pietrek as a reward, but where did I get the other one? I don't remember. Um, but the cost of 450 for the long barrel or the handgun frame, that's not something I'm going to get very soon. So I can't just make both. So which one do I want to make? What's... What's better? Well, I don't think anyone's strictly better, of course. It just depends on the situation. So, single, sh single shot shotgun. So, yeah, I'm sure it does more damage, but it's probably only good at close range, and you have to reload it in between shots. The pistol, I'm sure, does less damage, but I'm sure you could use it at a further range, and I'm sure you get however many shots a small caliber magazine holds. Probably eight or something like that. So which one, which one do I want more? I'm thinking that if I get to the point where I'm pulling out a gun instead of a melee weapon, it's kind of at the point where I just need to kill the enemy real fast. And I think the shotgun would probably not be the best thing for that. If it's up in your face and it dies in one hit, then sure, but what if it doesn't die in one hit, and then you have to reload it. And what if it's at a little bit of a further range? What if it's what if it's a human? You know, I'm going to the pig shed, there's humans there, they might actually have guns themselves. In which case, maybe the shotgun wouldn't be the best. Pistol is something I could just keep firing as long as I have ammo for it. I really don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I just, I don't have enough information to tell for sure, but I think I'm gonna go with the pistol. The bad thing about the pistol, though, is that the trader doesn't seem to sell ammo for it. So the trader sells shotgun shells. And also medium caliber bullets for, I'm assuming, an automatic rifle. But no small caliber bullets. Or rounds, rather, not bullets. I'm assuming the wolf will sell rounds, but I don't actually remember. But the wolf will probably sell the small caliber rounds. I'm gonna go with the pistol. So, handgun frame gonna cost a lot. But that's fine. And this stuff down here, by the way, is stuff I'm gonna take to the wolf to trade for some small caliber rounds, hopefully. We're making a pistol. Oh, I also made some more light armor, by the way, because the light armor I had on from last night was basically one hit away from breaking. So, I just sold it to the trader and made some, some new armor. Speaking of which, I need more of those scales that come from the bugs to make another set of armor. So, I'm gonna want a magazine. <laughs> I have four small caliber magazines, like I'm ever gonna have enough rounds for that. Yeah, I'll just take... just one, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming these are not loaded, right? Is it? Well, this is interesting. So you get this... Oh, there's like, um, the longer you aim, the more accurate it gets. So you press it down, it's really inaccurate, and then focuses. 
Okay. I wonder if the end of the lines is the max range, or if it just gets more and more inaccurate the further you go out. It wouldn't surprise me if this is the max range. It seems pretty reasonable for a pistol. Yeah, it gets less accurate when you move. Can't sprint and have it out. Oh, I wonder if the middle mouse button does like a pistol whip. Ah, it does nothing. Dare I click? Whoa! Um... Hmm? I'm a little confused. Does it just come with rounds when you first craft it, or... Are these filled, or what? Uh... I do not know how this works, but I'm kind of scared to figure out how it works. Because I really don't want to waste rounds. Surely if you can buy individual rounds, then these don't come loaded, right? Huh. I really want to know how that works, but again, I'm so scared. I think I'll test it at the beginning of the next day. Because the game, I think, only saves at the beginning of the day when you first wake up. So after I wake up, I can just, like, shoot a bunch of rounds and then quit, just to test it. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, so before we go, I just want to craft an upgrade for my inventory. So, hotbar or inventory? Uh, I'm thinking inventory. Next one will be the hotbar. Oh, do I still want to take this stuff with me? If I'm going to the... I mean, I was going to go to the wolf to get ammo, but maybe I don't need it. I'm still going to go anyway. Okay. This is going to be a pretty busy day. I'm going to head to the wolf. And I'll meet you there. Actually, no, I won't meet you at the wolf. That's right, I was going to check out this giant gaping hole that I just found last night. I never found this, even though it's just like right to the left of my house. Thankfully, it doesn't let me fall down. Oh. Big dog. I think... I think it's attacking something, or it just got attacked itself. Probably going after a savage. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything I can do with this. Okay, meet you at the wolf. Do you sell small caliber rounds? You don't, so I guess the magazine itself is just... It comes full. Huh. Well, I guess I better buy these then, huh? Well, in that case, maybe I can be a little bit more liberal with my use of the pistol. I've got... What's already in here, plus two magazines here, plus I think two back at home. Yeah. Alright, so I was gonna sell this stuff anyway. I'll do that. Um, I guess I'll grab a small caliber magazine. Anything else I need? Oh, I think I only have the one tape to make this weapon. So, let's grab a couple more. Metal pipe tends to come in handy. Maybe a wire? I do have three lockpicks right now, though. I'll grab it anyway. Okay. I'm gonna head down to around here, where we saw the, uh, the path just starting, to the farmer's house, and I'll meet you there. Here we go, here's the path. Oh, I think it's right here on this little dip. Road to the village. This looks poisonous. Uh, gutted pig. I don't see the pig, I just see blood, though. Oh my god, that's disgusting. What is up with them and pigs?
There's another one on that tree, too. Is it just a disgusting marker of... You're entering the village, or is it... Some sort of a warning, or what? Is this a loading screen? Can't look at my map. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Oh, this is like a whole sub-zone. The time does not pass when I'm here. Well, that's good to know. I can relax a little bit, at least, and take my time. Oh. Somebody in the field. They look... normal, relatively. A shiny stone has been pressed into the mud-covered head. Take the stone. <laughs> no! I am not going to make desecrating their... whatever this is. Their religion? Desecrating their... shrine? I'm not going to make that the first thing I do when I come in here. No thanks. I don't want to end up on a tree, disemboweled. I do love the fact that I can take my time here. Really soak in the atmosphere without worrying about the time too much. Oh, I saw a fish over there. Looks like they're fishing. I wonder if... I wonder if people react negatively if you point a gun at them. Because I've got a gun in my hand right now. Hopefully as long as I don't pull it out, they won't get twitchy. So down there it goes across the bridge, and I'm assuming maybe to the main village. Mushroom. I heard it. There's a little pathway over there, too. Looks like a little wooden bridge across the water. It looks like I could also go along the beach. Another pathway across the water. This place is huge. Alright, let's explore this side of the water. Check out the building and then maybe the farm after this. Another little pathway there. I think it's a dead end, though. It's just rare that I get a chance to look so thoroughly for loot without worrying about the time. Oh, it looks like this place has been blockaded. Yeah, it's blocked. Hmm. And it's a metal door. There's no way I'm getting inside of there. I do wonder. The crafting bench, when I upgrade it again, I can make an explosive barrel. I wonder if that'd be able to blow open even metal doors. I bet it would be able to. And now that I've got this pistol, I can safely uh, blow it up from afar. Okay, let's go look at the farmer. See if we can hopefully just talk to them. I don't think they're going to be angry at me. I haven't done anything to them. Who are you? 
Can I get, oh, get away from me. Okay. Okay, sorry. Can't talk to them. Am I going to be able to talk to anybody? I remember up at the pig shed, I walked into a, the little, like, house at the very beginning of it, at the bottom of the pig shed place. And they also said, get away from me. Our woods are so beautiful this time of year. Hmm. Sure. Well, they don't say get away from me, at least. There's a pig. I hope it's just eating, otherwise it looks kind of like it's throwing up. It's not going to try to attack me, is it? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh, chickens. I wonder if they lay the red eggs. Where's my meat? I should get two kilos of meat for this month. Antec won't save you this time. You hear me? Give me the fucking meat! Oh, I thought they were like repairing, doing some work on the village, but no, they're banging for their meat. Can't talk to them. This place is just so fun, it just gives me the worst feeling, everything, everything about it, even the smallest thing. Just the pigs, I swear, they don't look right. Hi. Let's not sneak up behind him. Kill the pig. What pig? Uh, so? Is it pronounced so or so? I think it's so. Oh, I can actually examine them. The woman stares at the ground with a dead look. That's it. A small plastic doll? I'm not touching that. No, 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 no. I'm getting the feeling I should kill this pig. So, let me just pause here for a second. Remember what the wolf said. And of course, the, keep in mind the fact that I don't really trust the wolf, but what the wolf said is what they want me to do is come down here to this village, and there's some woman that runs the whole place, I guess. And... They said that she's keeping something behind the locked door that doesn't belong to her. And the wolf wants it. And wants me to bring them the key to the locked door. I was wondering if perhaps the thing that doesn't belong to them is the sow? But that's up in the north, not down here. So, I don't know. Here, it's all this little ways across the water. Just want to check along the beach. Just see if there's something hidden. glamorous, but I'm getting some stuff. Ooh. Mushrooms. Thank <laughs> you. 
tractor. Well, I guess I don't need the tractor parts anymore, do I? In fact, they're useless. ceases to be creepy as hell. Seriously, this is just about the creepiest game I've ever played, probably. Unnerving in the extreme. This place is so big. like they're doing well. Writhing? He said it needs to be done. It will help, he said. I don't understand. Hope they don't like scream at me and try to attack me, thinking I'm a thief. Can't do anything with them. Doctor's instructions number one. Burn a mix of herbs in the oven. Not sure what that is. Chamomile, nettle, and whatever that is. Um, keep the patient warm twice a day, one tablespoon of sauerkraut juice by mouth. Sauerkraut juice, that's an interesting treatment. They wouldn't mind if I took some stuff, right? Oh, right, no space. Well, I certainly don't need this wood. Or the stones. Whoops. I do want the nails, kinda. But I'm gonna drop all the wood. Unfortunately, even though time is not passing, the mushrooms do rot over time. Even though time isn't passing, which I guess doesn't make any sense, but it makes some sort of sense. I don't really want the potatoes. What a foul stench. Hold on a sec. Let me put my lantern on. I really don't like this atmospheric noise that's coming in as I get closer to the foul stench. Oh, oh, is that a body? Charred body. Its arms and legs are bound with a chain. I wonder if they murdered them or something. I'm expecting to find them suddenly out of bed. No. Okay. Whew. Okay. One nightmare house down. Let's check out another. Another. 
Mm, it looks like to get in there I need to come in from this door up here. Is this- oh no, this is that house. Hey chickens, excuse me. And <laughs> the door opens, I hate that. I'm actually gonna leave my lantern on me. Wooden floor is sticky with chicken feces and feathers. Should drag everything just in case there's something under it. That's a person. Chicken lady, talk. Is this the lady, I wonder? The farmer? Wow. They look very disturbing. Um, the old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs her chickens possessively. Better keep them hands off me hens, you bloody scoundrel. It's a good thing I didn't murder any. I bet she would try to kill me. Don't worry, not gonna touch him. The old lady puts one of the hens to her ear, mumbling under her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I'm obviously supposed to read this with a certain sort of accent that I'm not even gonna try to do, so this might sound kind of weird. But I've seen me share of things, lived through many a war, but nothing like this. Lord be my witness. This accursed land ain't a place for men. Ain't a place for hens. Oh, the plastic chick. I bet you would love that. Hell's bells, where'd you get it? Where'd you find it? The old lady seems disturbed. The hens fell silent. I can feel the tension in the air. Holy mother. It's Yannick's little hen. A gift for me, my little brother. A couple of days ago, he got mad. I told him... Stay, you're not one of them brainy fellas, you know nothing. But he wouldn't listen and off he went to that other fella. I was just thinking about where I got that little chick from. So it was from the... the... doctor's house. At the very beginning of the game. I got it off the, the body of the person that I killed. So... So the chicken lady talking about their little brother... Um, I said, stay, you're not one of them brainy fellas, you know nothing. But he wouldn't listen, and off he went to that other fella. So that other fella is the doctor. Here, take this. He went to see this fella. See him? He never came back. The lady shoves a crumbled photo into my hand. Thank God she didn't ask where I got the little chick. There's the doctor. And that's the little brother. The woman trembles violently. The hen on her shoulder struggles to maintain balance. You're all I have. My little sisters. Photo of a road. Oh, I remember this place, I do. It's been six years since I've been there last. This road used to lead to the other village. You could also take it to get to the city, not that far away from here. You won't get there now. These devilish trees have overgrown everything. Gossip. Thank the Lord for our sow. Or so? so <laughs> I'm switching my own pronunciation of it. Poor thing seems sickly, but she has more life in her than a lot of us, if you ask me. Only thanks to her, we got something to put in the pot these days. I still find it very strange that their farm is at a completely different location from here, given that this location already seems so large. The pig shed? Up in the northwest? But they must be talking about that, that sow, right? I'm gonna go with sow. So, sow. We'll see. <laughs> Whatever I feel like. Poor Hanuska has lost her mind. Her fella knocked her up with this abomination. Even the mongrels 
tucked their tails and yelped when they saw it. I tell ya, poor soul, they burned her fellow with the shack and took the horse somewhere. Everyone got the jitters, little wonder. The old lady smiles kindly, baring her three yellow teeth. It was a long time ago, but you remember it still, my little hen, don't you? They... Hmm. Okay, so Hanuska must be the person in the bed. Her fella knocked her up with this abomination. They burned her fella, so apparently the... I guess the village burned him because he gave... Because he was... Responsible, I guess, for knocking her up with an abomination. And the horror... I suspect might be the thing I saw through the window. Which seems to be kind of part of her ho house. Or at least only accessible from sir her house, so it seems like it's part of her house, so... Is she the one hiding the horror? It was a long time ago, indeed. If it was just a baby, when they took it, it seemed to be fully grown, whatever that thing was in the bed. Huh? Holy mother, this creep again. Let the devil take him and his blasted violin. <laughs> the old lady turns red and starts to scream. Devil fucked your mother! Get away from me, house! What the hell? I'm sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> it's such a cool little detail. <laughs> Reach out for the violin again. It, it, it's not my fault. I, I know it doesn't sound too great. My violin, it's, it's a bit broken. I won't play anymore. Sorry. Um, sir, have you been in that hut? The chicken lady's hut? You, you're not afraid of her? You're brave. And ha have you seen her? The pretty lady. She, She's the most beautiful lady in the world. Uh, watch her through the cracks in the window. Oh, that's not good. That's creepy. Don't do that. She, she changes when I watch her. Okay, that's extra creepy. She gets more beautiful. I play for her. Wait. I want her to be happy because she doesn't seem to be. The chicken lady locked her in that room. Well, if that is the abomination... Then I guess the Abomination and the Pretty Lady are one and the same, and they're the person in that room? So... Locked her in that room. This must be... Interesting. This must be the... Creature that the wolf said that... The... I just call her the Chicken Lady now. Instead of the farmer. Um, so the wolf said the Chicken Lady had something behind a locked door, which is apparently this woman who I think is the Abomination and said it didn't belong to her. Okay, I mean, I guess it it doesn't. I mean, it definitely doesn't. It belongs to Hanuska. They're their... their offspring. Um, but what is the wolf's stake in this? Why does the wolf want them? How does the wolf even know about them? strange. She she keeps her there. She envies her. She, she won't allow anyone to see her. E even me. She knows very well that during the last Kapala night, I, I fished out the pretty lady's wreath from the river. Yes, sir. The chicken lady knows what it means. Oh, yes, I will become the pretty lady's husband. We will walk hand in hand, sir. I will play for her, Mr. Sir. I tried to release her, but the chicken lady, she, she chased me off. She always does. I also looked for the second key, Mr. Jan's, but n now he's disappeared. I don't know how to get into his house. So if Mr. Jan is the person that we killed, that we got the little chick from. I'm thinking maybe their house is the one in the northeast that had the barricaded door. Yeah, I don't know how to get into his house either. Leave or nod? It's nod. S so kind. S so very kind. Y you are just like him. My daddy. 
but my papa has changed, mister, just like my mommy. They will not listen to me. They won't hear how sad I am, sir. Oh, but I am not boring you, sir. Please, don't go. Please, hear me out. Don't go. Nervous... Nervous grunting can be heard from underneath the tractor. Perhaps you could help me. Nod. Please, please find the key, good sir. Talk to the... Uh, uh, to the pretty lady's room. The, the, the chicken lady has it. Well, M Mr. Yon also has it. I saw him recently, near the well. He used to play with me. We threw the rocks into the well and looked into our reflections while making silly faces. Daddy used to say not to, to do it, else my face will stay that way. Now the water in the well is always hazy. It shows these weird images. I don't think it's the water that's hazy. I think... I think that they might just be... changing. I saw him recently near the well. So is that not the brother? The little brother that died? But then again, recently could be before he left. Right? Didn't he leave, like, three days ago or something? The well is here, in the village. Maybe you will find him there. He, he used to hang around it often. He stared into the well, as if looking f for something, or, or someone. I must hide now. Hide from the ch chicken lady. I will go to that place, where they used to keep all the grain, in the southeastern part of the silent forest. Will you bring me the key if you find it? I promise to repay you somehow. M me and the pretty lady. Wow, southeastern south eastern part of the silent forest. So that's the silo, right? Where they used to keep all the grain. Must be the silo. Oh, I can show them items, gossip. All right, one sec. I'm going to write down that they're at the silo and to bring them the key to make sure I don't forget it. Okay, got it written down. Show them foot over road. M Mommy once told me about this, this road. She said people used to travel it. They would leave their houses and walk it during the night. I was scared of this story. I was afraid and Mommy will go out too and leave me behind. Quote of the doctor. This is our doctor, yes? He's just as brave and good as you are. He helped me. He's helping all of us. He gave me this beautiful mask so I could be healed of my afflictions. Maybe you could have one too. Yeah, so given that I've been taking those shots of the essence and my body's changing, and at the very beginning of the game, I think I, my character wrote in their journal that they didn't even recognize themselves anymore. And given what they just said about, maybe you could have one too, I'm guessing... And also, <laughs> on top of all that, the fact that many people seem to say, get the hell away from me when I come close to them, I'm guessing I'm pretty changed. And also, one of the only people in this... And these dark woods that seems to like me and feel a kinship with me is the traitor, who themselves are really pretty heavily mutated. But they feel a kinship with me. Gossip. H have you heard about the sow? Sow? <laughs> sow? The villagers keep this sow in the nearby pig shed. They call it the mother of all pigs. They say it's beautiful. But I've never seen it. They don't allow me near her. They ch ch chase me off. They always chase me off. The little musician drops its gaze. M maybe you would be able to see her, mister. If you manage to get inside, maybe you could take a w wee piece of meat for me. I've never eaten a pig and I've heard it's very tasty. W would you take some for me? Okay. Just... Just general pig meat? Why would the pig meat only be inside of there? Surely the pig meat's like distributed to other places, right? I'm gonna write that down too. <laughs> bring, bring pig meat to musician. Alright. Oh, 
Ah, they sound so disturbing. Huh. I really don't want to piss her off. If I was to try to go in here, she probably wouldn't like that, right? Oh. Gladly take the stuff. Ooh. A cross. Hmm. Lovely. So it's the store that's locked? Yes. Oh, yeah, something I forgot to mention from talking with a little musician. They said that the doctor's... Um, the doctor's good. They try to help me. They've given me this mask and all that. So the doctor lives in this village? Or maybe they don't live in this village, but they help the village. Maybe they live in some external spot. Because it didn't look like I was part of the village when I was... When I was there. At the very beginning of the game, playing as the doctor. Uh, yeah, I wasn't in a village. But remember, the doctor said that they distrust me, the people of the village. They blame them. They blame the doctor for what's been happening. But apparently the little musician doesn't feel that way. Scorched remains of the wooden henhouse structure. Shotgun shell. Mm. Hold on, can I craft anything to free up some space? I don't think bandages would help at all, would they? No. I'll just leave that. There's a bed in here? Basket full of eggs. These are not red. It's not a red egg. Interesting. So where are these red eggs coming from? Mushrooms in the corner. More eggs. I guess this is the hen house. I mean, part of the hen house burned down over there, but I guess enough of it's left. How are my mushrooms doing? A little bit more than halfway, not bad. This place is so big, I don't think I can explore it all today. Like, even in one episode, I'm almost at the one hour mark, and I've only explored, like, three buildings. Christ. And I feel like I need to run back and dump my inventory. Right, so, they said the she has the key. She's one of the two people that has the key, so is it on her, perhaps? Dare I check the shelf? A map. Location already marked, pig shed. Ah, yes. She really doesn't seem to mind if I take anything at all, so... Doesn't seem to be an issue. Yeah, key's either, I guess, in this room, or probably on the chicken lady herself. Okay, well this episode, if I explore this whole village, I think this episode is going to be colossal. But at the same time, I can't just quit here because it hasn't saved except when I just entered this place. So I think what I'm going to do is end this episode here, but I'm actually going to keep recording and just cut it into two episodes. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I'm going to explore the rest of the village.